Welcome to episode 4 of TLDR about food storage supplies. After the last video's bad audio, I've upgraded with a fancy new Yeti. We'll see how it sounds today. So I had a lively discussion with a bunch of folks on Facebook about 5ml and 7ml bags a few weeks back. I made a post about the fact that bag thickness is just that. It's a measure of thickness, not a measure of quality or strength. It was hard for some folks to wrap their head or heads around, but it was a good conversation nonetheless. So, to the meat of this discussion. Like last time, this data is a summary of Phil at 4800's findings about Mylar bags. However, this data is more interesting in some ways, because not only did our 7 mil bags top out the competition again, with the exception being the single LDS bag in all categories, but our 5 mil bags outranked several 7 mil bags in burst and tensile strength. That's absolutely crazy considering our bags cost about a third or a half less than our competitors. Plus, it destroys the conventional wisdom that 7 mil bags are always better. Alright, here's the data. First, on burst strength, we scored almost double both Harvest Right, the Masters of Freeze Drying, and Pack Fresh, and we were about 25 and 33% better than our other competitors. In fact, our 5 mil bags scored better than all but one of our competitors. I think that's pretty cool. So one reason we score so high on all of these assessments is that we made the choice a long time ago to stick to using actual DuPont, Tejan, and Mylar. They are now called Mylar Specialty Films, where others chose to go with cheaper materials. Lots of folks online just buy the cheapest product, and by using cheaper materials, our competitors can price lower on some things and spend more on advertising. However, so be it, as we're not going to compromise our best in quality class materials to sell a few more units. Second, on puncture strength, we scored between 23 and 33% better. Again, notice that even the bags that are thicker than ours scored worse on these tests. Because to my point earlier, thickness is not a predictor of durability. Sure, it feels heavy, but it's not protecting your food as well. Finally, on tensile strength, our 7 mil bags scored 38% better than the two lowest scored brands, and again, our 5 mil bags scored better than all but Harvest Right, which is still amazing. I know in a world awash with options for Mylar bags, some people may get to thinking that they're all the same. As we've shown, they're just not. And it's not that there's a small difference in quality, it's that there's a big difference in quality, and that quality is what is going to keep your valuable food good for a long, long time. Alright, I'm not going to belabor things. If you have questions, comments, or suggestions, please let me know. And as always, if you find this content useful, please like, subscribe, and share. Thanks. Have a great day.